All right, it's official. More than one person at the the post office now recognize me, or they they know know me by name, um, and they have like hundreds of customers every day. I mean, it's uh, a sign that I'm there kind of often picking up stuff. Um, speaking of picking up stuff, that's what I was doing today. Picked up a package, and uh, speaking of packages, uh, have some more right there. Okay, uh, I I don't know. I guess. There's a bit of a theme to this unboxing, but that's that's excluding this title right here. So why not why not start with this? This is something very cool that was just released by Arrow. And it is oh, it's a beauty. Videodrome, a David Cronenberg film. I have this on a, it's a regular boring DVD. Uh, oh, it's up there. Uh, I'm not gonna get it because it's so far away. But <laughs> comparing this to the release that I have, this is it's a, li a little bit nicer. So this is uh, it has more than video room. It has um, well, let's see uh, where to start. Well, well, it has more than video room. Obviously, it has uh, special features, but also it has David Cronenberg's early works. Uh, Transfer and from the drain, and then stereo and crimes of the future. I don't know if I'm gonna watch them honestly. They they don't look very good to be honest. They they look kind of experimental. I mean, what is does it say here? Shot in and around his university campus. Uh, I don't know. It doesn't sound very. I don't know. We'll see. I I don't think I'll check them out. But it's it's cool that they're on here. But I will watch the um the special features. Um, I'm not gonna go through all of these right now. I mean you can you can just pause and read if you like. Or you can find the information elsewhere easily, but you know. Um, but I, yeah, I have, so I have seen the movie before, but um, not on Blu-ray and not in like, it's been like five years. Uh, but this release, it doesn't look too damaged. I mean sometimes when you get a you get a new new release you 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 say that but then you kind of see the different scuffs and or what what do you call them well uh, uh after but i don't I, it doesn't look damaged a little bit creased here but uh yeah sorry i had to switch the the battery pack but but yeah very cool uh, i think we'll i'm going to open these up and then i'm going to take a look at the um the you know the discs and the booklet and stuff if you wanna stick around for that, uh, but yeah, let's continue with these. Uh, a bit of a theme, I said. Well, I can reveal the theme, I guess. It's Brit British comedy. Um, I think. Yeah, well, it should be, uh, and <laughs> some American comedy too. Um, this is the American comedy, uh, and it's one that I've kind of been meaning to pick up for a while, but I haven't felt you know, like I need to rush it, or, <laughs> it's a very cheap DVD, I could get that at any time, and it doesn't, it's not supposed to be great, but Seth MacFarlane's Cavalcade of Cartoon Comedy, so these, this is just a 51 minute series, I don't know what you, what you should, should <laughs> what you should call it, it's kind of like clips uh, in the style of the Family Guy cutaway gags, and I don't know if these gags were intended for the actual show, or if they and, and they were just not included in the show and then they made this other series out of them or if this is something completely unrelated to Family Guy um, but based on Family Guy or those those cutaway gags um, doesn't say anything about about that on the on the back here but but uh, yeah, I mean, this is going to be a quick watch, and you know, people have said that it's so-so, but it's just a very cheap title, and I love Family Guy, and I'm currently watching American Dad, and you know, I definitely wanted to check this out at some point, so I figured, why not now? Uh, let's see, which one is this? Okay, let's do the other one first. Where the hell is it? Right here. So... Let's do this one first. Actually, let's just... Where is it? 
Uh, now I'm confusing myself. I think. Oh, right here. Okay. Jesus. Okay, so this is the other one, and they have taped it, so I can't. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's do this. I can't do this at the same time. Well, kind of. All right. <laughs> Peep show series seven and series eight. Recently watched this right here, series one to six. And I just have to continue with the show. I couldn't wait because it was so good. And season six or series six kind of ended on a cliffhanger. Not really a cliffhanger because it's obvious what's going to happen. It's just that they this wrote, they ended the series before a major thing is about to happen. So uh, I'm sure that kind of pissed off some people when this was aired. But uh, it's fine. Um, in, in my case, it's it's fine because I can just continue with season seven. Oh, and look here. This is. Not very pretty, is it? A big cut here and goes through the artwork as well. And uh, yeah, I mean, I, I'm i not gonna send this back or anything because I wanna watch it right now. But that is a shame. God damn it, that's not. doesn't look too nice. Well, what can you do? Could ask for a refund, but uh, uh, anyway. And series eight. Um, yeah. So this should be. Sh yeah, I'm. I'm really looking forward to continuing with this show. It's. 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 It's really great. Uh, okay. Here we have more British comedy. Been really watching a lot of British comedy lately. And this one is. Alan Partridge, Mid Morning Matters. There were two releases of this, um, but uh, I mean, I don't know. They look the same, but one of them was released a little bit more recently. But I don't know if there was anything, if there was any difference content-wise. I, I couldn't find any any information about that, so I just assumed that it, it, it was the same. That it was just a a re-release of whatever reason. But you know, the covers were slightly different. The other one was a little bit more light blue. Uh, so I don't know, um, but this one was cheaper, so I just just went ahead and got this. Uh, but yeah, Alan Partridge, um, I recently watched, I have that right here as well. This thing right here, and this, I don't know when he made this, Steve Coogan, it says, yeah, 2010. And these are... Um, I don't know if this was some sort of online series, um, because it says this release features both the original 11-minute 11, 11 versions, plus exclusive DVD-friendly dub, double-episode edits. Well, but, you know, the 11-minute format sounds like it could be some sort of web series or online series, or um, I don't know exactly, but um, it's a series with Alan Partridge, or Steve Coogan as Alan Partridge. So it should be good. And this is... Um, I, I want to say classic, but it's it's not one of the, the older British sitcoms. But it's one of those British sitcoms that people speak very high, highly of. And I've never seen this, believe it or not. It's Spaced. I uh, got this very, very cheap. Um, and, uh, well, I think I've seen maybe an, an episode or so, I think I downloaded this show way back in the day and I watched an episode, or maybe not even one episode, but I did not get into it. I mean, I <laughs> didn't give it much of a chance, but uh, I just never... I, I don't think... I mean, I think I expected something sci-fi, because it kind of looks sci-fi-ish on the cover. I guess it's kind of supposed to, but um, it, it was not what I expected, so I guess that was why I never never continued with it. And it's taken me all these years to to actually get to it again. But uh, yeah, I've just heard so many positive things about the about this show, so can't wait to check it out. Um, yeah. Now, like I said, let's go back to this and just look at the uh, the design of the box set and how the guts look. 
Okay. Yeah, it's not that bad. I, I don't really mind. I mean, you know, it's it's. <laughs> I feel like it's kind of rare to get something in in the mail that is completely unharmed, so to speak. Um, and this is not. I mean, I, I've gotten worse stuff in a worse condition. You know, like this, for example. Not a very nice release or anything like that. But anyway, so let's let's look at what we have here. Uh, Long live the new flesh. This looks like yeah. This is the booklet. I mean, it's it's a hardcover. But I mean, this is this is really really nice. Uh, it's not a booklet. I, I'd say it's more of a book. Not a very thick one, but you know, really nice. I think I like this movie more this time around than last time. I think I saw it about five years ago, and uh, I think I'm. I don't know if I was ready for it back then. Uh, okay, so here we have the um, the early works. Don't know if this image has anything to do with any of these four films, but um, or this design. But yeah, and then the the film and the special features to the film. Uh, actually, let's just have a look what we have here. Okay, um, audio commentary. Uh, a documentary program featuring interviews with Cronenberg, George Romero, and Alex Cox on Cronenberg's cinema, censorship, and the horror genre. Forging the Reflection, a documentary program on Videodrome's video and prosthetic makeup effects. That sounds really cool. Uh, sorry, I'm looking outside of the, the camera to read this, so I don't know if you can... I think you can tell what it says. Video Oblivion. I mean, I showed you this before, so this is kind of just for my own sake. But, uh, anyway. Yeah, it looks like it has a lot of cool stuff, so... Um, and, uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's such a nice release from Arrow. Really happy with this one. Um, I will treasure it. <laughs> what does it say here? Cathode Bay Mission. Cathode, I can't pronounce it. Um, but yeah, okay, that, that's it for this time. Um, I'm very happy with all of this stuff. Well, not so much with, with, <laughs> with this. I mean, I'm happy with the DVD, but I mean, with the... I'm happy that I'm going to be able to continue watching this, but not happy with this gash here. Uh, anyway, but yeah, so I want to say some mi some mixed stuff, but this is really the only one that stands out. So <laughs> anyway, that's everything for this time. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.